begin, uniformly wet the hair. Starting on the right side, create a horizontal parting from temple to crown at the back of the head. Starting at the front hairline, create the baseline with clipper over comb, working parallel to the part, beginning at the temple, ending at the centre back. Freehand clipper with the clipper setting at zero from hairline to just below the baseline. Add the number one clipper guard to blend from the scalp exposure to the baseline. Continue to blend, working around to the center back. Rewet the other side and make the parting at the round of the head. Following the guide from the center back, continue setting in the baseline towards the left temple. With the clipper in the zero setting, freehand the clipper from the sides and the back, working from the hairline to just below the baseline. Add the number one clipper guard to refine and blend between the scalp exposure and the baseline. Invert an edger and create a line around the head below the baseline. This will be used as a guide for the razor fade. Continue this process around the head. Add shaving cream. Straight razor shave from the predetermined line down to the hairline. Alternate using freehand clipper and edger to remove and blend the line between the razor fade and the baseline. Transition into the top horizontally using a straight shear with the baseline as the guide. Over direct the front to maintain its length.
Add grooming spray and blow dry with a vent brush to create volume. Once the hair is dry, use blending shear over comb to remove excess weight. In the area at the baseline, use the blending shear over comb to remove weight and to blend. Alternate slide cutting and rotation using blending shears through the transition area to remove weight and add directional movement. On the top, slide hand through lengths and use the blending shear to further remove excess weight while retaining length. Add product from scalp to ends. Comb into shape. The razor-faded pompadour by Scorum. Perfect.